My husband Michael and I have been married for over 30 years. To the naked eye, we look like the picture of health. We eat healthy, we exercise regularly, but we have a dirty little secret. I've been a smoker for over 35 years. And I've been smoking for 10 years. We realize smoking is bad for our health and we really want to quit. But I've heard that when you quit smoking, you gain a bunch of weight. So how does quitting smoking affect your metabolism? Michael and Deborah are here with us. Thank you both so much. And I have to hand it to you. You're right. You two look like the picture of health. And you don't even have some of the appearance that a lot of people will have when they smoke for the majority of their life. Mm -hmm. Your, your skin looks vibrant, you look very healthy. But you both admitted before the show that if you quit smoking, you might put some weight on, right? Absolutely. But it's the absolute best thing you can do for your health. And I'm gonna explain to both of you and anyone at home what happens and why when you're a smoker, you actually may weigh a little bit less. It's not for a good reason. So when you're lighting up a cigarette and inhaling, what's happening is a lot of nicotine is coming into your lungs. In your lungs, that nicotine gets caught up in your bloodstream, almost immediately goes to your brain. You're seeing the brain light up here, loaded with nicotine. Well, it has a lot of effects on your body. First and foremost, your cardiovascular system. When your body's flooded with nicotine, your heart starts beating faster. It puts so much extra stress on your heart. If you smoke 20 cigarettes a day, it's like 90 extra pounds of weight. So yes, you're burning calories because your body's working so much harder. But another interesting thing is nicotine has been sh shown to decrease the amount of insulin released by your pancreas. So if these green dots are considered insulin and the white dots are sugar, you have less insulin. So you actually have a net hyperglycemia, too much blood sugar when you're a smoker, and that's thought to not allow you to put on as much weight. So when you quit smoking, on average, you might gain five to seven pounds. And I know that that's a scary thought, but when you look at it, five to seven pounds, that's from quitting smoking because when you smoke, your metabolism is artificially raised, but it's doing all the bad things. Your heart's going too fast. You've got elevated blood pressure. Your metabolism is out of whack. But there are other things you can do to offset those five to seven pounds of potential weight gain. Yeah, there's actually a diet you can kind of start now. Um, a study out of Duke actually showed that if you eat these foods, um, this can actually curb your desire to actually smoke. And they've shown with milk, water, cucumbers, fruits and vegetables, if you actually start to eat more of those which are healthy and are going to keep your weight down, that that actually curbs the craving for cigarettes because the taste, it makes the cigarettes taste bad. So, but then the things that make you crave cigarettes and will actually enhance the flavor of the cigarettes are meat, coffee, and alcohol. Here's the most important thing, and I can't emphasize this enough. You are either going to succeed together or not. It really is up to the two of you working together because if one of you tries to quit and the other doesn't quit alongside you, you're going to fail. It's, it's just, it's an incompatible behavior to come home, you've quit smoking, and your spouse is out front smoking a cigarette. Mm -hmm. You have to commit together to do this. Are you willing to make a commitment? We are. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to set you up with some resources. Also, Freedom Laser Therapy, they've agreed to take you two on to help you quit smoking. And what they do is they use low-level lasers. The theory is much like acupressure. And it's been shown to be successful in helping a lot of people quit smoking. It's a multifactorial approach. I so appreciate you coming here today because this is not an easy thing to break. We know that. Thank but you. I do believe you can do this together. So we wish you the best of luck. Thank, Thank you. you. Best of luck. Thank you.